Hey, what's going on? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com here with Michael and Christopher Amat of the band Arch Enemy. And they're out on tour right now, and they're going to talk to us today about gear. How you guys doing, man? Doing great. Yeah. Killer. Very good. Good to be here. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time, guys. So, uh, I'll go, we'll just start over here. Um, can you talk to us about this this uh, guitar you're holding in your lap? This is my new, newish signature model from uh, Dean Guitars. It's uh, calling it the Tyrant. It's got a graphic on it, as you can see. This is actually me. It's an X-ray of my actual face. Wow. And these are my teeth. Um, yeah, it's no, actually it's it's um, two volumes, no tone, three-way toggle switch. Dean, no tone. No tone. No. Pi uh, these are um, Dean pickups. This is a signature pickup we've made. And uh, yeah, some special inlays there. And uh, yeah, we're calling it the Bloodstone. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. this. Is what I play every night. This is actually the import version of the guitar. It's got a um, uh, satin neck on the back. Right? Yeah, I actually did that myself. Them. Yeah, oh, cool. got my tech to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like feel it's a little bit more natural. Yeah, I sweat quite a bit, and then you know, I get kind of got a reach for that high fret, like <laughs> getting stuck. <laughs> so this is a good way of. Uh, Avoiding that. So amp-wise, what are you using live right now? Um, using the Marshall amps, and we've u right now we're using the JVM 410 100 watt heads, four channel heads, and uh, for effects I'm using the Digitech uh, GSP 1101 with the floorboard. Yeah, just got five sounds, and you know that's all I do really. It's very simple. I've set up. I got a wire as well from Homebrew Electronics. It's like a si uh, kind of a signature wire. I'm working on a prototype that I got out here from them. Other than that, it's just the guitars and picks, you know, strings, Didario. Talent. Yeah. <laughs> and a whole lot of talent. <laughs> this looks very interesting. Definitely talk to us about this. Yeah, this is a, uh, well, I guess it's a basic Super Strat guitar. It's um comparison. Japanese brand, which I've been endorsed by since uh, 1997, so been playing them of, well a long time, and uh, it's it's a mahogany body. Uh, it's called a Dellinger. They call it a Dellinger. The model. It's called. It's a Chris Fremont signature model. Chris Fremont Dellinger. So uh, is that an ebony fingerboard there? Yeah. 24 frets. That little arch enemy symbol in there. That's the symbol we use on our own uh, albums and. Uh, one there and uh, five-way toggle switch. I got a tone here. I don't actually use that too much, but it's cool to have in the studio if you want to create some different sounds. And it's a it's like a shaler floating bridge there too, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. It's a shaler. And uh, George Lynch, Screaming Demon, and two hot rails. So that's that. Yeah, looks like that. Then I use a couple of pedals. You know, front of stage, uh, line six delay, a big green line six yeah. delay, and uh, and uh, and a boss boss delay as well. I've got two delay pedals, and a boss chorus and a Rocktron hush. That's it. Yeah. So, are there any uh, specific uh, differences gear-wise from your live rig that you used to record the new record? Yes, we always use end up using a different amplifier in the studio than our own. Usually the, the guy, uh, this producer has, his, has an amplifier that he likes and we try it and or there's usually a bunch of amps lying around and we just yeah. try the ones that are, or they're not just lying around, we, we have a few and then we choose which ones yeah. are, uh, and we blend different guitar tones as well for the rhythms. Okay. So, you know, one with a bit more highs and then one with a bit more, you know, so to create a fat tone, a thick tone. I mean, typically we track four th rhythm guitars to each, and you know, and then you EQ them and make them sound heavy and everything. But or the way we pan them as well, yeah. you know. But I think you know we we, we do two each, and I'll do, he he'll do like two uh, like one with a like a Marshall and one with another amp, and then I'll do one with a Marshall, one with another amp, and then we kind of blend those. So just a lot of experimentation, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and as far as effects go, I mean. 
we I've got a ton of I personally own a lot a ton of different stomp boxes, you know, vintage ones and I've got a whole collection of wah pedals and you know va various phasers and chorus pedals and all that kind of flanges and all that kind of stuff and it's just fun, you know, to experiment in the, in the studio with that stuff. And I use like for echo, I use I like to use the the tape real tape tape echo as well with the the, the actual tape. But no, I don't bring that out live. Yeah. <laughs> it's stuff for the studio only. You're known to be a little unreliable. Yeah, out, isn't you? yeah, but it's fun, you know. And I like to create. Well, we both like to create unique tones in the studio. It's just, you know, something special. You know, something that not easy to copy. You know, that people can just think, "Wow, that's a really cool, unique tone." I think that's important. Because nowadays, with the recording technology the way it is now, it's kind of everybody's using plugins and stuff. Everything's starting to sound quite samey, you know, very of one style the whole time. And I think that gets boring. Your ears sh sort of shut off, you know. It doesn't keep things interesting. So yeah, try to create unique tones. That's what we do. This is Jordan Wagner, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.